Hi colleagues, my name is Stanislav Ignatenko and uh, today I will tell you about the Pristine Machine project. It's a security solution that adds an additional security layer to the ecosystem that helps to protect uh, the entire networking and uh, the system operability on all layers. We protect all communications and uh, even more. I'm, we are happy to uh, be a part of OpenStack for a third year and I'm glad to meet you again. So the solution, the solution provides uh, security for servers, desktops, uh, laptops, networks, Internet of Things and of course cloud nodes. It's a fully integrated to the OpenStack and uh, the process can be controlled via OpenStack dashboard in the horizon. Pristine networking provides encrypted peer-to-peer -peer communications uh, in set including, that are including uh, leakage control and uh, data flow management. Uh, it is completely and uh, controlled in a central part of OpenStack, so it is clear for cloud administrator. Beyond? Pristine Machine provides barometer instance security, which means that uh, each instance automatically gains a security layer after deployment, which includes all Pristine features. The security layer between the target operating system and uh, hardware allows us to control, monitor, protect and sanitize all network communications. And it's not just networking, uh, we can control any disk activity or, RAM or uh, memory usage. So what are our main targets? Uh, they are... Okay. It's... Okay, it does not work. Sorry? It looks like, yep. Sorry. Yeah, it's working again. Thanks. Uh, so what are our main, our main targets? Our main targets are private clouds, enterprises of different sites uh, who consider, um, who needs an advanced security and uh, requires a high level of security, like finance or banking. However, in this time, uh, more and more organizations need additional protection, like uh, automotive informatics or healthcare industry. For example, lately a lot of attacks were made on hospitals, uh, as, it, as it can be seen even from latest news. And uh, a lot of data, data, a lot of personal sensitive data was leaked to the um, attackers. Once again, uh, what we are trying to achieve is securing the user workstations like desktops or laptops, encrypt all network traffic regardless of the application layer protocol, interconnect different network different networks and uh, different companies with a protected communication method and uh, secure Internet of Things devices from external attacks and of course secure OpenStack nodes with enhanced management console. So uh, why to choose the Pristine Machine? A uh, Pristine Machine is more than just some asset or set of assets. It is, it is an architecture that allows organization to use and uh, to segregate any assets that are considered as necessary and uh, to make these assets uh, unavailable for malicious actors. The Steam machine keeps the systems in a recoverable state all the time. Nothing can uh, corrupt it or destroy it completely. Additional security layer allows us to monitor disk or memory activities and uh, perform specific actions if any suspicious activity has been detected. Uh, at the network communications, all the network communications are isolated and can be controlled via one management interface. Each pristine machine includes a special sandbox uh, which 
can be used to work with uh, some sensitive data that must be prevented from leakage at any cost. In addition, this sandbox can be used to verify some malicious or some suspicious software a priority or execute it on the main operating system. Also, Pristine Machine has integrated Swift framework, which is really useful when an organization needs uh, protected centralized storage. Um, sorry, no, I forget to tell that Pristine Machine uses microvalization instead of microvalization, and uh, it creates uh, an isolation of the whole hardware from the user operating system. It means that if, even if uh, the user operating system is corrupted or even if it is infected, it cannot uh, affect our security layer and it cannot disable our protection. Mm. This layer works uh, seamlessly and transparently for users, so any user can continue work just as uh, users uh, do it usually. Microvalization allows us to protect the entire ecosystem as one. So we create, we create some standard for all ecosystem nodes. Generally, we support Windows and Linux operating system as end user systems. We protect and keep them uh, pristine in a pristine state and, uh, and provide all features that I have mentioned before. The installation is very easy and uh, all features start working just out of the box. We have a roadmap, a roadmap to support uh, macOS and uh, we are looking forward to work with mobile operating system like Android and uh, iOS. So let's see some examples of the infrastructure. Uh, on this picture you can see an organization which needs to establish some secured perimeter uh, that must include some remote devices. These remote devices may be outside the safe place, the safe area, or even in different city, different country. In our case, uh, pristine machines can communicate uh, only via encrypted channels. So even if different pristine machines are located on different continents, they will use only protected networking. Uh, this networking does not require a single server. It uh, needs server only for authentication. But uh, all communications are peer-to-peer. On -peer. Uh, the second picture, we see uh, how two network infrastructures are combined with our pristine gateways. All communication between these pristine gateways are also protected and uh, administrator can uh, create a policy which will uh, restrict which communications are allowed, which are denied, and uh, which traffic must be recorded. Uh, if we are talking about enterprises, we need to consider all available components. Pristine endpoints, pristine gateways, and pristine cloud nodes. Unified encrypted networking allows us to support almost any existing infrastructure without seriously affecting it. So we can support existing OpenStack infrastructure even if it's completely old. Resources can be shared exactly how it's required by, by an organization. Uh, if, can, if the policy is probably configured and on the pristine gateways. So some resources can be available only for specific parts of the infrastructure. Gateway as a service uh, allow secures Internet of Things and healthcare devices, networks and mobile and other remote devices which cannot be uh, which cannot be supported by the pristine machine but uh, all their network communications can be protected. The last thing I want to show is our integration to the OpenStack dashboard, is our integration to the OpenStack. We have extended the dashboard and added uh, some additional tools to configure remote nodes and uh, to create a policy which is, uh, which is required and uh, which will be used by all cloud nodes. All communication with 
all communications between controller and nodes are encrypted. So only the controller can affect our protection. Uh, here we have some sets of rule packs. Each rule packs uh, may contain different rules, different restrictions uh, for network communications, different directions for network traffic capturing, and so on. Uh, the, whole set, the whole set of these rule packs create the cloud policy. So let's check the rule creation. The rule creation is very easy. We need just some um, rule ID to identify it. We need to configure an external firewall, a built-in firewall for OpenStack Cloud node, uh, which this node will not be able to violate. We need, uh, we can uh, create a rule for capturing all network traffic to create some dump of the network traffic. We, and uh, configure a dual control feature to intercept specific uh, traffic and perform necessary actions with this traffic. In this example, we configure it to intercept uh, SMTP SSL traffic. So the last thing is to assign the pack to agent, and uh, perhaps it may be not an agent and even the whole department. So uh, let's check the result. As a result, we have a complete dump of network activities, which allows us to uh, analyze and find any incidents, any intentional or unintentional violations from the policy. Also, we have a control over the network traffic. In our example, it's SMTP traffic. We can allow or deny specific uh, mail messages, uh, if uh, it's not allowed by the policy, we can just drop it and uh, keep the information unleaked. So let's do some summary. Uh, Pristine Machine is totally integrated with OpenStack APIs, especially storage and virtual networking. Pristine Machine provides total protocol encryption with very low overhead because we use kernel implementation of encryption. PM provides additional security with transparent dual control workflow. And uh, as a result, Pristine Machine provides total cloud protection through the deployment of security on the foundation of virtual bare metal layer. The Pristine Machine architecture, te technology, services, and features offers users a full complement of high-level assets, high-level security assurance for mobility, secure bring your own device support, and secure data, secure data flow management with a built-in firewall. For OpenStack, uh, in particular, uh, Pristine Machine to integrate, uh, integration provides a means to apply centralized security policies for legacy infrastructure, even if this infrastructure is cloud native. In researching other partner options, it's apparent that Pristine Machine is the only way, it's the only solution that supports that infrastructure and the only way to secure that infrastructure in a secured way. So thank you for your attention. I am ready for answering all your questions. Thanks. Uh, if you have, if you have any questions in future, you just can stop by and see a demo at A14 booth. It's around here to the left. So thanks again for your attention and have a great day.